Breaking tonight, crews are battling the Ocotillo fire in Cave Creek, which has forced evacuations uh, there. And you look at these images and they're just heartbreaking. We have seen homes burned and destroyed today. It was very windy out there, very hot, very dry conditions with very low humidity. Uh, unfortunately, just perfect conditions for brush fires and wildfires to do this, and, and we hate seeing this. Sky 12 over a fire earlier this afternoon, spotting some of those homes on fire. And here is a map of what is being called the Ocotillo Fire. It started near Ocotillo Road, which is west of Spur Cross Road. That's right near Rancho Manana Golf Course. Now, right now, everyone northeast of Cave Creek Road to the Tonto National Forest, everyone um, there is uh, being told to evacuate. So um, there's uh, some areas and some cross streets there where uh, people there are being told to evacuate the area because of the, the dangerous fire. Now, the Ocotillo fire in Cave Creek has now burned 750 acres and forced the evacuation of homes north and west of the town. Now, fire crews are still on the scene trying to protect homes and other buildings in the area. Team 12's Mitch Carr has been on the scene for hours today. And Mitch, this fire is dangerous and growing quickly. Uh, Mark, you mentioned it earlier, all that hot, dry weather out there is causing some major problems. And in fact, this fire started around 1 o'clock, and when we heard about it, it was right around uh, 10 acres. That then moved to 400 acres, then 750 acres. And at last check, in the last 10 minutes, we've gotten an update that the fire has now grown to over 1,200 acres. And now that the sun has gone down, the folks that are fighting that fire can't keep track of how it's growing, even as they continue to try to fight it. A Chinook helicopter drops one last payload before nightfall, and then the hot shots on the ground are on their own. We have 5% containment. We have a storm coming into the area. We're already seeing the high winds. Dry lightning is expected. The main goal of firefighters Saturday afternoon was to force the fire north and west away from Cave Creek. They did that with water and fire retardant dropped from helicopters and planes as ground crews surrounded the most at-risk buildings but nighttime will be a new challenge. We do have crews that are working on the fire overnight. Um, those crews will help either conduct burnout operations to kind of secure the fire line, build fire line, or whatever it's gonna take to contain that fire within a perimeter. One of the homes inside the fire line belongs to Raul Bertrand and Colette Taft. Before we knew it, within minutes, the fire was actually at the perimeter of the property. It was on our neighbor's property and our neighbor's right here. and the perimeter of, of the property. So we had like minutes to get stuff to just throw into the back seat of the car. And the sheriff pulled up and he said, um, you know, evacuate now while you while you can. The firefighters don't know what things will look like tomorrow. It is estimated to be a little bit larger than 750 acres. But again, we just don't know at this time. And neither do Raul and Colette who are left just hoping for the best. I have no idea. I have not a clue. And I haven't been able to find anybody who can say is, anything as to whether it burned down or didn't burn down or anything. And the Red Cross has shut up a, set up a shelter, rather, at Cactus Shadow High School. I saw at least one motel in town that was offering free rooms to evacuees. And the Buffalo Chip Saloon, which has a rodeo ring that's been shut down due to coronavirus, is offering to take in people's horses if they need a place to stay. So the folks in Cave Creek are certainly helping each other out. Live in Cave Creek, Mitch Carr, 12 News at 10. All right, thanks for that live update, Mitch.